Hey, I'm Ross. Welcome to Deku Digest, your weekly series about movies and shows available on Deku, the only streaming service dedicated to gay men. We've curated a captivating collection of queer cinema that you can stream right now on Deku's YouTube primetime channel. This week, we're going to discuss Deep in Vogue, Angel, and Will o' the Wisp. You can watch any of these right now on our YouTube primetime channel. Let's get right into it with a clip from Deep in Vogue. Cool. <laughs> <laughs> it's about showing off. Voguing is about showing off. Because I myself am trans. When you're trans, people react to you in a very different way. And so for me to just like stand there naked on stage, pretty much, and to have people like cheer for me and, you know, encourage me and tell me that I'm fabulous and that I'm beautiful. I carry that fierce stage persona every day. Vogue inspired, I was inspired by Vogue because it was more of an escapism. They had this amazing energy when they were performing. I was, what, 15, 16? Sort of not wanting to be at home, so coming out onto a, a gay scene. What was really exciting is that after the club had finished about 3 a.m., we would go to the cathedral grounds in Liverpool. There's a runway brick, runway like an L shape, and we would promenade and compete on there. So what we'd do is we'd copy each other and learn off each other. I think it's important that it becomes culture and not just queer culture. I think when people see what a vote ball consists of, they want to be involved because they see it's a positive thing. Over the course of one year, British documentary filmmakers Dennis Kaihorn Foster and Amy Watson developed relationships with the house mothers and members of the local Manchester drag community, charting the build-up to the wild and wonderful Manchester icons Vogue Ball. Deep in Vogue celebrates the colorful, emotional, political, and deeper queer stories of the Vogue scene in the United Kingdom and the many talented people involved in the community. Synonymous with the gay ballrooms of 80s New York, this documentary asks why we need Vogue in Manchester now more than ever. While focusing their cameras around the ball, the filmmakers examine important themes like the disenfranchisement of black youth and the often reductive ways in which gay subcultures become commercialized. Offering a deep and candid look at a welcoming community, Deep in Vogue is ultimately about people coming to love and accept themselves while finding a new family and putting on a hell of a show in the process. Next up, Angel. It's just on the wing thing, so almost like that. No, no, uh, ya, I'm just, I'm just nervous. Sabes, es, es como estoy nervioso y al final, bueno, sí, es algo que me gustaría probar. ¿En serio? Sí. Pero estoy un poco, me da un poco de miedo. A ver, no tengas miedo. Solo tienes que besarme y ver si te gusta o no. No es muy difícil. Besarte. Sí, besarme. Yes, but that's kind of weird. I mean, we are friends. It is only weird if we make it weird. Um... Okay. Okay. A esto le llamas un beso. Prueba esto. Twenty-something Angelo, played by Edouard Gallia, is suffering from a severe case of heartbreak after his longtime girlfriend leaves him for another man. Now, he's forced to find a new version of his life without her in an unfamiliar city. Just when he thinks all hope is lost, he meets up with Marco, an old school friend played by Sergio Perez. When the two end up in bed together and a cautious but passionate sexual encounter begins, it reawakens Angelo's spirit and gets him to start questioning everything he thought he knew about himself. Writer-director Colin Damerez set out to make a film about the parts of discovering your sexuality that can be very healing instead of destructive like we've seen a million times in movies before. Shot over only four days with a mix of both digital and 16mm, this lovingly crafted 27-minute short is both uplifting and incredibly sexy. Lastly, Will o' the Wisp. <sighs> Respirar tão bem com o coração bombar antigo e agora acontece-me isto. Nunca se me tinha parado tudo. E 
que assim é bom ver, nem reparo que eu já trazia isto só tinha há uns dias. Que eu sou muito assiada, mas o preço que está a água, a luz e os detergentes. Isso, meu santinho. Agora, bota aqui uma mão entre os meus mamilos, anda. E não é bom, neto. Olha. Macia das reais mãozinhas. Ombros na direção das mãos? Sim. Comprimo para aí à bruta. Ventilo um porco. Ventilo me todo. Bandido, como empregaste? Vá, outra. From visionary queer auteur João Pedro Rodrigues, the acclaimed Portuguese director behind The Ornithologist and the provocative gay classic O Fantasma, comes a bold and wildly unpredictable new musical Fantasia. Beginning in the year 2069, Will o' the Wisp follows Portugal's fictional King Alfredo, who, on his deathbed, starts to recall the social activism and erotic exploits of his youth and in the early years of the 21st century. As a fresh-faced, curly-haired young prince, Alfredo shocked the snooty royal family by deciding to become a volunteer firefighter, in part to serve his community, but also as an excuse to be surrounded by a bevy of hot, beefy fellow firemen. When he meets Alfonso, an alluring young instructor played by Andre Cabral, new possibilities open and the pair become deeply immersed in their desire for one another. Rodriguez manages to confront the inherited ills of our modern day while also indulging in delightfully bawdy humor and plenty of fanciful song and dance. This sexually frank new film, a heady mix of historical tableau, musical comedy, queer romance, and post-colonial provocation, maintains a joyous energy while examining heavy themes. Have you seen those films? Let us know in the comments what you thought, or follow us on Letterboxd, connect with other queer cinema lovers, and rate all your favorite gay movies. If you haven't seen them, watch them wherever you can find Deku. Sign up for a free trial to get access to hundreds of gay films. Deku adds at least three gay movies every week on top of its extensive catalog of queer classics, short films, and gay cinema from around the globe. Like and subscribe to our channel and join us next week for another new edition of Deku Digest.